G'day everyone, and welcome back from some more Assertive Combat Systems modding. Today's going to be a little bit different, I think. <laughs> I still haven't completely decided. Uh, different to the previous streams. Most of the previous streams were focused upon getting the hulls ready to be integrated into the mod. And that meant doing a lot of design work in-game. But this time... I think I need to start moving towards adding behaviors, adding the spawn groups, and actually getting the mod running, approaching readiness for release. So, the, but the first thing I kind of thought I should do before I start adding the ships into the mod is just confirm that the ships I have ready to go are in fact ready to go, because a lot of them are a little bit out dated perhaps because the designs were made a couple of years ago so i wanted to just quickly check through some of the older designs and make sure they're still okay and that there aren't things that we can improve things that we can quickly change that aren't too time consuming but i guess i don't need to do too much of that because no nope, that's not what i want to press if i check my entity list and i just make sure that the names are all consistent if the names are all good then I can just replace these things later when I'm ready to do those updates. That's why I was kind of torn. Do I do the updates now? Do I do them later? Do I do them now? Do I do them later? I don't know. Um, so, I thought I'd do a little bit now, at least up till... At least check in the first few ships for their lighting. Because I did go into one of them earlier. I wasn't really sold on what I'd done in the past. I didn't put quite as much uh, emphasis on it at the beginning. Is this Humboldt? I think what I'd forgotten to do was actually check all of the grids at night. Because yeah, we've got this very yellow light, and then we've got no light. And then we've still got no light. And that's not really... Whoop, I hate that stairs do that. Um, that's not really ideal. Also, no catwalk stairs. So there are just a few things in some of these builds that I think I could quickly upgrade. But I hoped today would also involve getting some of the multi-spawn groups done. So that means the... The ones where the easy spawns will all be the ships just on their own. The medium might come with a small drone, and the large will come with a large drone escort sort of thing. Uh, Bandelier, lockdown for me is a bit odd. Uh, largely, why is my light not working? Largely because I still have to go to work just the same as usual. Whether we're talking about this work or my hospital work. So it's always a bit of a different scenario. I'm going to go that and then let's get rid of these stairs. And pop in proper stairs. I get rid of these lights. Not mean to get rid of the floor. Seriously, not have an interior wall block on something here. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Redstone. Every ship in this mod is vanilla. Also, I don't think that sensor does anything anymore. So let's get rid of it. So it means that I then don't need to have those plates, which will give me more freedom if I want to do something to this floor later. Okay. So that's a bit more light. Just quickly upgraded. <laughs> which ship will spawn the cockroach as a drone? Oh dear. No ship's going to be spawning the cockroach. I'm not... I'm not planning 
though I suppose it could still happen, but I'm not planning to add um, many ships from our series. Because I think sometimes that can be a little bit on the nose when I come across my own stuff in other series. So I prefer to try and keep the designs unique if I can, for the most part. I need to get some light over into the side here and some light down into the kitchen here. Let's just max this to 10 meters and see how far it goes. Still doesn't quite get to the kitchen, but it does do enough over here. I suppose if I moved it over a block, it might work a bit better. Here we are, me getting distracted by lighting yet again. Intensity down to 2.5. Let's get the little bit of yellowing that I like to do. Just to make it feel more like incandescent light, although that's a bit pinkish. It's a bit too green. Yeah, that'll do. And how will I do another light down here? One there will work. I'll just copy this settings. That's better. Much better. Thanks now, Ender Ben. <laughs> and also, uh, thanks, Cold Dawn, for earlier. How does this feel? I think this is some good small upgrades to the Humboldt. There are little things like that that I feel I'm going to need to do to a lot of the designs in the mod so far. Just bits and pieces that will require small, small works, but nothing too drastic. Um, the Paninis might need a little more work. Not sure. I think that was the main one. Let's just check out the ladybugs. I think the ladybugs are fine. I think I kept them quite simple so they don't need a lot of, of any real adjustment. And they do have adequate lighting. No, no ugly, ugly duckling is coming. <laughs> the ugly duckling is staying a part of survival, maybe, where it belongs. And happy with Panini, actually. Like, there are certain ships we've built in our series that kind of work in this mod, like this Stingray that Capac built, because it had the interior decorations all done and it was all nicely done up so there wasn't much to add or change and it's small enough that it works but a lot of the ships we build in our series tend to go quite large um, so they don't really work for this because I am focused on the lower end of ships because there are plenty of mods out there that add massive massive ships I don't want that I want stuff that's relatively performance friendly uh, I think... Oh, that's another thing. I need to go at some point and re... and neon some of these other ships of Jexums. These pink and blue ones. The rest of these ships will be okay. Let's check out the Humboldt. I mean, the th Thrush. Yeah, there's not much to change here. That was the only light I could actually fit on board. Because <laughs> every other cube on that space is filled. 
Uh, my account? No. I am never going to make rovers. Uh, Lucas has said he is never going to officially support rovers as part of modular encounters, so I'm never going to be adding them. Because I don't want to try and make something that even he can't, doesn't think he can get working. Yeah, Gruz, exactly. There are some big, big ships in some of the other mods that just really, like, can smash apart next to anything. And I don't want these ships to be that. I want... I want you to have a... I want you to believe you've got a chance to take on these things. Ah, uh, see, this should probably get replaced with regular catwalk. The greater catwalk. So, so let's just uh, do what I've done in some of the other designs and colour a few things up. Uh, Crimson Team, sort of. The location sort of determines what you come across. So, um, I'll show you guys shortly, but each of these ships will have a gravity rating for the atmospheric ones uh, that can only work in a certain... Uh, up to a certain gravitational strength. And so they won't spawn on, say, a lot of them won't spawn on Omicron because Omicron's gravity is too high. And thanks, Matcha. Um, so, say for example, uh, if I grab a programmable block and drop it onto the Eapetus and run a little script, I can see how much gravity this thing can handle. So this has a lift acceleration of 13.13, so that's about 1.3 Gs. Oh, I'm glad you like the redesign, Matcha. It's always nice when people like the changes that I make to their ships. Um, so the, yeah, so the lift acceleration is 13.13, so the maximum gravity it can cope with uh, without special NPC magics is about 1.3 Gs, so this would not spawn ever on Omicron. It would be protected against that and prevented from spawning there. But in terms of specific ships for specific planets, I don't like the idea of doing that because that'll limit which ships can... Sp like, then if you play on modded planets, you may not see many ships at all and that would be a bit sad. I think it's nicer to have them all work in most places so that you don't feel like you're missing out because you're playing with some modded planets. Anyway, I think that'll do for now in terms of just quickly checking out these bunch. Let's just check out this other Humboldt. I think I might have already modified it slightly. But I just need to do these so then I'll export these files, these ships, ready to go. I added that, added the stair, I left that light as it was. And let's just get a light in here. Do this one. And now we're good have decent lighting inside. Got a different... Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Oh. Anyway, what was I saying? Exporting. 
Yeah, so I'm going to export a bunch of these. Uh, where's that folder? Into here. But I might... I might get rid of these, actually. Let's start with some Humboldts. Copy. Export. Because I'm going to sort of start this segment of the mod from scratch. The reason being that I've kind of made it a little bit awkward with what I've done before, and it may be quicker for me to just start from scratch on these. Uh, will I ever be returning to the lawn chair? I hope so. Um, my plan has always been once I move into my new house and my new home office, I will return to Survival Impossible. Because once I'm in that setting, I'll be able to actually record Survival Impossible properly, which I can't do here at the office at the moment. But yeah, plan is to return then. Which has taken longer than expected, as would be expected from any sort of renovations. But I think we're getting to the last few weeks of it. Oh, hold up. Hold up. No, I've done something wrong. Dang it. Uh, I need to get rid of those ships. Except for the ones that already have a variant. Oh, so it's just the Stingray. Just remembered something. So one of the reasons I wanted to come back to these ships was I want to name their grids all with a variant number because there's going to be a way for me to have multiple variants spawning from the one spawn group in an update that's soon coming to Modular Encounters. And I want to have multiple variants of each grid done that way, especially with my plan being to integrate the work that grozob has been doing on creating a custom thruster that looks like the vanilla one except has better stats and you can only get these thrusters by pirating assertive cargo ships they won't be replacing every thruster on the ship my plan at the moment is to make them more like cargo as in these ships are carrying a valuable piece of cargo being that thruster and so you'll have to potentially move the whole block across in some situations uh, the random Variants, I mean, as in, you'll randomly get this, this, or this. Not randomized stuff within it. I'll still be making each grid custom, planning it all based properly. Not condition based, no. Random. Assuming that all three variants of a particular design can handle the same gravity. Although if they're similar enough, I'll just go to the lowest. Uh, but that means I just need to rename the Stingray to Stingray 01 before I export it. Because they have to have unique grid names. Even if the spawn groups are the same. And same with the Chasqui. We'll just export all of these, actually. I think the Eapetus already has a variant number. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this one won't. This will be alright. So once I've done all these, I can then start on the coding side of things. That, I can use that number. I think the other one's called the TAC-01 Manta. I can 
use that number as well. Or oh, O2B. Eh, we, I think I can live with that. I have an anti cap I grown that shouldn't. Uh, my account, I am tempted to include some booby trapped uh, unknown signals in the assertive combat systems mod. I'm tempted. Oh, maybe this could be cubiculus one, two, three, like written in words. So I'll leave that one too. Caveman Andy, with the current version of the assertive uh, cargo ships mod that's on the workshop, you should be using the Rival AI test version. Um, and with modular encounters, no, you do not need to change any settings. It changes every setting for you to the settings that it wants. Um, Lucas changed that up a while ago, and it's, it's very handy. So you don't need to worry about cargo ships. You don't need to worry about drones. It'll do that all for you. But if you're not seeing spawns, it could be because your threat level is not high enough yet. I deliberately don't have the mod spawn stuff to attack you when you have nothing. Because that would be very mean. I'm going to get rid of the cargo transport bit in that name. It's getting a bit long. Oops, didn't mean to export that twice. Almost done with these. And also, Pertum cannot spawn cargo ships by largely. Pertum will not ever see any assertive cargo ship. That planet is not suitable for atmospheric cargo ships at all. The way that Keen designed it, it does not work. You have to have hydrogen ships and none of these are hydrogen ships. That's another thing to remember. And I'm not going to be changing that aspect of the mod. Um, Pertum is just going to be a bit of a wasteland. At least I'm not changing it for the time being. Um, it's just what it is. Uh, but yeah, you guys know I've already done a um, custom unknown signal mod because I did the one with the Phytotron being an unknown signal, which very much confused Capac, and the <laughs> was very happy that it confused him. Very unhappy that he then threw it away. So that was just rude. But very happy it confused him. No, Avident, not all are Atmo. These are just the Atmo ships. I have a similar sized group of ships that are space. It's just putting them all in one save. It's not good for performance. I'm just going to start with the Atmo ships today and then on another stream I'll try and get onto the space ones. Yes, Matcha, that uh, Manta should look familiar. I've gotten through a fair few of your ships recently.
expect Capac to unexpectedly do the expected and unexpectedly do the unexpected. Pretty much. Pretty much? Pretty much. Capac. I asked him about throwing away the Phytotron afterwards and he just shrugged at me. It's like, why did you do that? He's like, hmm. Felt like it. Uh, no, Tower Ranger. The NPC, NPC ships do not run out of ammo, I think. I can't remember if I've got the ammo... If the ammo, um... Or the infinite ammo for NPCs is a default thing or not, though. Some don't. And anyway, in the time you spend interacting with them, you really shouldn't be able to run them out of ammo. So one of the reasons I want to make variants of each of these ships is to move the guns around. A lot of the interiors will be identical, but I want to move the guns around and make it even harder to memorize placement of things. Because when you go from having 50 different hulls to having three variants of 50 different hulls, the chances of people remembering stuff become so low that it doesn't matter. If you're the kind of person who goes and remembers all of that, good for you. Most people won't, so I don't have to worry about the people who can, or will. Uh, Dragnon, you can set it to randomize weapons. I don't like the weapon randomizer for assertive cargo ships, at least for some of the ships, because the weapon randomizer will make these potentially overpowered for your game stage. At least at the easy level. Um, so, all these ships that I just exported, these 37, although there's a duplicate somewhere here. Where is it? There we are, Mjolnir. So these 36 hulls are all intended to be uh, assaultable relatively early or at least handleable so I don't want to want them to be firing rockets at you especially if they're flying over your base and then firing rockets at you happy birthday Shamrock uh, so I want to start by Going to this and creating a new SBC, which will be spawn group cargo, um, yeah, cargo ships at mo easy because I'm going to have an easy, a medium, and a hard spawn group for both Atmo and space and I'm finding that I very much prefer having these things in their own independent files so it makes my life so much easier so let's go where is it I just had it before there we are I'm just going to grab everything that's currently in the atmospheric one. Just paste it in here because it makes it a bit easier. Change the language to XML. And I'm going to delete everything except for one of these spawn groups. No, did I grab too much from the bottom? No. Get rid of that because that's not needed. Get rid of that because that's not needed because now I've got it defined at the whole level. So what I had originally done with these files was I'd actually had every single spawn group in one file. And you can imagine with the number of spawn groups I have for the number of grids we've got here, 
it got a little bit hard to find stuff and find mistakes that I'd made in it. So what I've what I plan to do now is to divide them up into smaller files so it's a bit easier for me to handle what needs to go where. Uh, it may end up making it easier down the line when I have even more, or it should make it easier when I get down the line and have even more ships. Um, so, spawn group. Let's start with getting rid of the prefabs that I have currently. Because we're going to get all new prefabs. Although, just in case I do something wrong... Let's create a quick backup on my desktop of the whole mod. There we go. Get rid of all this. Start from scratch. So let's start with the bison. That's the bison's full name, and I want that to be in here in subtype ID and the subtype ID of the thing I just tend to match to the grid for now once we have the new version of MES I might update this so that we can have a single spawn group for that whole type of ship and now I need to check a few things uh, have I saved how effective these ships are in Atmo once Excel opens the file uh, we have the bison yes so the bison has a max gravity of 1.2 because I did a whole bunch of calculations earlier where I've plugged in the lift that I calculate with the with that script that I've got, and we've got our G rating for each ship's hull. Uh, I should probably get rid of all this. Wait, what? No, that's not what I wanted. Where's my fill color? There it is. No fill. This is my checklist to make sure I add all of the ships back in properly. Starting with the bison. This is the easy spawn group. This is the spawn group that'll be just the bison on its own doing its thing. So we have spawn group, atmospheric cargo ship, yes. Rival AO spawn. False. That's correct because it'll actually be spawning through MES, even though it gets the rival AI behaviors. Uh, yes, this can be a bit of a headache, but once it's once you set up the initial spawn groups, it's kind of a little bit of just busy work and getting it done. I, for these ships, have got um, a block replacer profile that's set up to change the Atmo thrusters to make them one and a half times more effective at three quarters of the power usage when the NPC is in control of the grid. As soon as you take over the grid, that those bonuses get wiped and they're just standard thrusters. It just means that the AI can do more maneuvers more easily than a human could, but it makes them closer to what a human pilot should be able to do with those ships. And that's why I do it. All right, so we got the bison. That should all be done. Uh, what I might do is create a blank spawn group ready for me to copy paste. So what I've noticed in the past when I've tried to... Oh, wait, hang on. No, this is a bad idea. The XML does not like having multi-line commented out sections. Dang it. Uh, 
Uh, on console, this stuff might work. I'm hoping to try and get it to work eventually. Uh, obviously, I play on PC, so I'm going to get that working first. All right, so we got the bison. Let's move the next ship across, which will be the bubbly bertha. Just work down alphabetically. Ooh. I'm going to rely on you guys. Uh, yes. Multi-line comments do work in XML. They don't work in XML in Space Engineers reliably. Uh, something I discovered and which Lucas confirmed for me. I was having some troubles with something that I'd, I'd done a multi-line section commented out and for some reason Space Engineers was still reading the stuff in that section. Yes, Bandelier, exactly. It is a bug in the XML parser that SE uses. Um, which is annoying. So I can't comment out a whole section like this if it's something that space engineers would otherwise read. Yes, are you serious? Lucas's mods will only work on a, on a dedicated server and that's never going to change because that's an Xbox limitation. Because Microsoft don't want people executing unchecked code on their consoles. All right, so the bubbly bertha... Oh, sorry, something I was going to say. You guys need to remind me when I start adding more ships beyond what we've currently got, like when I come back to do more ships... Can you remind me to add them in alphabetically so that all the spawn groups are in alphabetical order? It's going to make it heaps easy to find stuff. Bubbly Bertha has 1.6 max gravity. So these max gravity setting is something that will work for modded planets. If the modded planet has a planetary gravity less than that, less than or equal to that, the Bubbly Bertha can spawn. Yeah, I know Control F works, but it's also just convenient to have stuff not randomly placed in. Uh, we got Bubbly Birth. Uh, that should all be fine because we got our Atmo Easy Behavior applied. Let's get another. So this is kind of what I'm going to be doing for a bit of today is adding all these in, but hopefully you guys can keep me entertained with random other ideas. I think I might just paste a bunch of these in. Oh, that's annoying. I hate when it does that. So the other reason to do things alphabetically is not just for finding stuff, but finding stuff I haven't added. Or if I've messed it up. Because stuff will be duplicated, which then with a, which I suppose I could get around with a find, like a search command, but I still think it's good practice. So I got Bubbly Bertha, next one. Bulldog. Oh, that's not where I want it. Yeah, it is a shame that rovers can't work, but like those of you who've driven rovers long distance on a planet would know it's really, really hard to drive in Space Engineers. And can you imagine the challenges of trying to define where a rover can drive? Not just let's ignore how to make it drive in the first place, but where it can drive. Humans are terrible at that. It'd require like levels of AI that are similar to what people are doing for self-driving cars and the performance hit of trying to do something like that would be horrendous huh eh. I was just thinking should I create a blank 
spawn group so that I can work with that I keep in one of my other text files. Like, I can totally see why Lucas just goes, nah, too hard, not doing it. Uh, we have a... Ooh, the buzzer doesn't go very... Doesn't have great lift. 1.2. Exactly my account. I uh, trying to do pathfinding in Space Engineers full stop is horrifically difficult. It's why all of the I presume it's why all of the you know, like autopilot stuff doesn't quite work as well as it ideally would, even though the scripted ones do work quite well. Uh, where is the Callisto in this list? There it is. 1.3. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Logan. Um, the wrong way down just proves that even, even with four people who I think it'd be safe to say have an average between the four of us of at that stage over 1500 hours in space engineers admittedly not always taking the easy solution but still that was hard like wrong way down was actually hard made harder by our own stupidity but still hard and that's a whole bunch of people who spend a lot of time playing with wheels in Space Engineers. Okay, what is the cargo box's capability? It can go to, where is it? Cargo box. I might just bring this across so you guys can see. Cargo box, where is it? Lost it again. 1.5. I'm rounding down just for the extra bit of safety. And this stuff, the multiplier, does give me an extra safety margin beyond this capability, but I like the ships to, if you capture it and you weld it up, a human should be able to fly it. Uh, final event, I wouldn't call Lucas's hover tank a hover vehicle in a strict sense it's more of a low flying drone uh it still is flying high enough that it's clearing trees and all that sort of stuff it's not it's not going to look like a ground vehicle it's just a low flying ship which is not to diminish the effort it took to do that it's still awesome it's just not what people immediately think of And it is a really cool behavior to be able to add in for other things. Cargo star can go up to 1.9. And that should be good. Next one. So this is the sort of stuff I have to do to add all of these ships to the mod. Admittedly, once <laughs> once all these are in, it then becomes a lot easier because each ship I just do this once at the end of doing each ship. Uh, once I've got this easy one set up, I'm going to copy it and we're going to start working on the medium one. And that's where this will get interesting again, I think. Because the medium difficulty one is where I'm going to start spawning these with drones. 1.7... Uh, no, Anwan Ran, the ships do not despawn when they detect groaning, uh, grinding. Some explode when they do, uh, like the drones do. If you grind the remote control block on any of my ships, it will explode in your face. Which at the moment doesn't do you any damage, but I need to change that. 
because I want it to do damage again. Comet, <laughs> uh, comet. Ooh, just one. That might need an upgrade at some point. Exploding when they detect groaning would make playing with Capac difficult. That is very true. Uh, yes, that would that would be disastrous. Cubiculus, where are you? There, one point nine. Thought I made it for Omicron. And the fresh maker. Yes, Kapak ground the remote of the THI 842 that we attacked. Um, and it exploded in his face. I didn't show it from his perspective, instead, showing it from mine because the explosion looked funnier from there. That was the fresh maker 1.4. Um, you were chasing some bug that seems to happen with one of my Torch plugins when players were grinding. Oh. Um, Torch doesn't seem to play particularly nice with NPC spawns, in my experience. It just doesn't, the concealment plugin doesn't like them. The, like, a lot of Torch-based stuff just doesn't seem to like NPCs. I don't know what it is but it certainly doesn't seem like things perform as well on servers as they do in single player. Or remotely as well. Uh, Torch is a... Apart from the NPC issue, a really good... Uh, alternate server, well, uh, alternate server thing for space engineers. I can't even think of what it's called. Uh, but basically, instead of running the vanilla made by Keen server software, you run Torch instead. And then you've got all access to all these plugins, which improve performance and other things like that. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that improve performance don't play super nice with NPCs. Just sad. So these can go up to 2.2. In this case, it's just the game not updating and crashes the server because player is grinding a phantom block. Yeah, server manager. Thank you, guys. Um... Oh, I don't know how I would be in control of that behavior. Um, that sounds like a scripting thing on Lucas's end with the way that the grids are replaced. That is another problem with <laughs> this, with uh, making this mod. So much of the stuff that people run into as bugs, I'm like, oh, I just, it, if the other ones work and I've done exactly the same thing, I have no idea how to fix it. Because people much smarter than me are the ones making the actual stuff that does things. It's like, um, I kind of consider myself more a map maker than anything else. Because I'm kind of making maps for you to play on, but I'm definitely not coding how those maps get interpreted.
<laughs> Speaking of bugs, you tried to play Ravenhurst. Yeah, Ravenhurst can be a bit rough around the edges. Ravenhurst being the Seven Days to Die mod that I played the other day on stream. Uh, 1.3... Yeah, Demos, that's a good way to put it. Mine is a feature mod, not a... Sorry, a configuration mod, not a feature mod. What can the Chesqui handle? 1.7. No, not 176. That's not good. Scrabbler. We're getting there. About halfway. Whew. I decided to do this fresh because I figured I'd be less likely to mess this up than if I went through and tried to update what I already had existing, which I know does make it... Why can't I find the Scrabbler? It does make it a bit slower, but I think it increases my chance of this coming through without problems. Why can't I find the Scrabbler? Where's my brain at? Uh, there. 1.3. Uh, no, my GPU is still not sorted. I am still running an alternate one. Uh, it has been, it was sent back to the supplier for the retailer three weeks ago, and I have heard nothing since. Which is obviously frustrating. What can the ladybugs handle? They can all do 1.99. All right. I feel like I should round that up to two. Chances of that going wrong is pretty low. Uh, I think there's a, still the RTX shortage pretty much everywhere. But I... I always found that the 3090s weren't as in short supply because not as many people were as stupid as I was and were willing to spend that much money. Um, I just wanted one for so long I couldn't help myself. having saved up for a new graphics card since I've basically for me with the graphics card from the announcement of the uh, the 20 series RTX cards I'd been saving up because I was like I don't want a 20 series I'm going to wait for the next one Because I had a 1080 before that. Which ended up working out okay for me, but still. Would have been better if my card hadn't died. Yeah, Mackle, I really wish that um, crypto mining wasn't a thing for a whole variety of reasons. One, as a gamer, it sucks because they steal all the cards. Two, it's terrible for the environment. Absolutely awful. Uh, Manta Transporter, 1.1. And three, Elon Musk is a crazy person and keeps manipulating it. I won't deny that some of Elon Musk's craziness is advantageous for space exploration, 
But he's still a crazy person. Oh, we're at 2.2. I am just going to be working on the mod today. <laughs> yeah, Mackle, sometimes it is the crazy people who actually get stuff done because they're unwilling to um, accept the line in the sand that everyone else draws. And paninis. What can the panini supposedly handle? Both can handle over two. <laughs> Need a mohawk mod. No! No, no sombreros, no mohawks on the chips. Although, I do like my mohawk in Gen Zero. That's fun. <sighs> okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's about 10 to go. And then we can start working on these extra spawn groups. I had intended to do some of this stuff off stream, but I just didn't get the time. So I figured I'd make some progress <laughs> on stream instead. Uh, 1.2. Um, so there aren't really any moustaches. There's something vaguely close to it with one of the drones, though. Uh, because it's based off Rigel from Farscape. Loosely. It's by uh, 1.4. Yeah, I've seen the Cowboy Art mod um, a while ago, Final Event. That was partially Climb's work that got that made. Uh, probably not, Mackle, because that ship that you've shown is a lot bigger than the drones that I use. I know which one you're talking about, but yeah, it's a lot bigger. I, the drones I'm using here are deliberately tiny. Uh, I'll be happy if someone designs a space mullet. No! <laughs> no space mullets. Yeah. The, the Rigel one... Rigel's drone is the monarch and it should be shouty, I suppose. Uh, Slippery Beetle, where are you? There you are. 1.2 as well. Okay, we got... How many more we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any spire beetle? There we go. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I kind of want to watch Farscape again, but I need to. I need to be able to unpack all my DVDs 
and or my um home theater pc that's got oh that could have been a problem have i done that elsewhere have i double bracketed somewhere no it was just that one okay that would have been an annoying bug to find sunflower sf5 can cape cope with 2.1 Yeah, I've been in, kind of in the mood to watch Farscape again, which is, I think, partially because I just f have have almost finished rewatching Final Space. Yeah, Prime Video has some very different things in different parts of the world. Like, in North America, you guys have... Um, Babylon 5 on it. Not here. Not in Australia. Nope. Though thankfully I was sent the DVD, so I am getting through Babylon 5 slowly. Um, Mantis, where are you? 1.3. Oh, it only used to be on Amazon in the US. It's not anymore. I see. I'm just hopeful that with Amazon buying up MGM, we might see another Stargate. And if they do another Stargate, I hope they don't go the route that they did with SGU. I hope they go with what Stargate was good for, which was vaguely serious sci-fi that didn't take itself too seriously, which is why it was good. Does, does Twitch still do those watch party things that you can do with stuff on Amazon Prime? So I'd totally do that with a Stargate series if it was on there. Uh, thrush, Thrush, where are you? Doop, 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 doop. It should be near the top. There it is. 1.9. SG would have been so much better if they'd done a Deus Ex Machina and completely fixed the ship early on. I didn't watch enough. I like, yeah, SGU just didn't really even entice me to watch it. I'm looking forward to seeing some more Orville at some point, though. So again, it has the it had the right degrees of irreverence while also being serious when it needed to be. 1.4. Yes. Atlantis did deserve better than the way it got axed. Orville is almost like a live action Futurama. I hadn't ever thought of it that way, Lohan, but I I can't think of a re a grounds on which to argue your <laughs> your thoughts there. Huh. Huh. 
Uh, Skeletor, and that's the last one. Where is it? There it is. 1.2. All right, so that is all the basic spawn groups set up. Uh, there are no threat score minimums for them. They can spawn for everyone all the time. And that's the idea. These are easy. All of these ships should be able to spawn at any time because they won't go out and seek you and cause you trouble. You'll have to seek them to cause trouble. Um, Stargate was great because it was a bunch of competent people being at ease on the job. SGU was a bunch of incompetent people constantly panicking and infighting. It was bad fan fiction. Uh, if they fly too close to you, Bandley, yes, you'll get the drones, but that's not that common anymore. Especially if you're not up in, like, if your base isn't up in the mountains. Well, there is an Alien Zoo episode of Futurama. The one where Fry and Leela are um, away on the... Uh, where they go away on the um, uh, romantic holiday thing. And it's actually a zoo exhibit. Uh, where am I at? I'm at here. I want to go to... So we've got spawn groups at Moezy. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to rename this to medium. So this will be the medium difficulty stuff. So this is where I'm going to start doing some testing of the mod to make sure that it all works. Uh, but what I need to do before then is delete this. Yeah, I've got the backup. That's fine. So for the medium ones, I need to grab, let's close that because I don't need that open at the moment, don't need that open at the moment. Uh, where is it? Growing ship space. I've not got it open. Uh, spawn groups, drones, Atmo. Oh, why is Twitch not liking me and dropping frames? Thankfully, I'm not looking at anything, so it's kind of okay. But Twitch is unhappy with me again this morning. Fantastic. So, I need to grab a variety of these drones to spawn with the AI with the uh, cargo ships. So let's grab a Mayfly drone. So, say the Bison transport. What we're going to do is we're going to add a second prefab to spawn with this, which will spawn with a new behavior profile, which I haven't made yet, but we'll just spawn it with the basic atmo easy behavior for now so yeah let's spawn it with a mayfly in escort ready to go and let's offset it by 30 meters 40 meters 50 meters 50 is still relatively close we'll go 50 in the X. Same speed, same behavior. I read Mayfly's McFly. I'm surprised no one's su submitted any um, McFly ship. Uh, 
Uh, I won't be doing any formal multiplayer testing. Because in my experience with this stuff, it's always kind of, if it worked, it worked. Uh, sort of rival eight test. Let's just check the mods are correct on this before I load it up. And then we can test out this spawn group and see how it looks. Yep, that's good. That's correct. Uh, there is something I am hoping to do though once this mod is ready to go which is a stream on my main YouTube channel. Hopefully at least with Capac and potentially invite um, people like Wasted along if he's available and interested. But do a medium to longish stream where we play mostly vanilla, but we're trying to see how many of the ships we can capture. So playing against the assertive mod and just seeing what we can break. Because I think that'll be a good test for it, Fuel. as well as a good show of um, what the mod is. Where's the planet? Uh, yeah, oh no, Titan. Don't want Titan. Also, why aren't I moving? There we go. It's apparently just set really, really, really slow. Uh, let's go Mars. Mars is a nice easy one for this stuff to spawn on. Okay, in theory, because I've saved this, we should be able to spawn this oh no i've done the subtype ids wrong dang it uh this needs to have a dash m for the medium spawn this needs to have a completely unique name for the spawn group so we'll have the dash m for medium a dash h for hard Yeah, A9, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. These ships are going to spawn with an escort, which we're going to have to set up a custom behavior for because the escort ships should fly with the cargo ship until the player gets close, then switch over and change their behavior to the fighter style. Fuel critical. Um, yeah, Caveman Andy, I've seen some of the uh, like NPC character mod that's been worked on. I haven't seen anything of it that's made me uh, that's made me think it's ready but I'm intrigued. Because more NPCs for space engineers can only be a good thing. There we go. Two spawns. So we've got a bison and a mayfly that spawn together. What's the separation look like? I'd say that's pretty good. Hey. Is anyone noticing that the Mayfly is going faster? <laughs> Interesting. They, sh they should be going the same speed because they're both set to the same speed. Oh well. That's okay. I think that that's not a big deal. 
Um, yeah, my account. I should be able to use the trigger that spawns drones. So let's have a look at this behavior stuff now. Uh, here we are. So we need a new behavior. Oh, this is going to be a combo. Wait a second. I need to get my head around what I need to do here. So, we have our Atmo easy behavior. Which... Does this one have the change in behavior or is that... I think that's the... Oh, which... Ah, oh, here we go. This one has it. So for this one, we, new behavior, Atmo action grinder, on behavior switch to Atmo on the wings. All right, I think I'm gonna have to start this from scratch. So I'm so confused. Oh. Yes, Eisen, this is be an excuse for you to, design, you to design a baby guppy eventually, and then I can have baby guppies spawn with your big guppy. Uh, right. So, what I want, probably, is... Got Atmo drone behavior small. Behavior fighter. Oh, I don't know what to do. My brain's not working. Um, how do I do this? So I need I need to create a cargo ship behavior that can switch and change the behavior to this AI small atmo. That's what I need to do. That's gonna be the easiest way. Okay. ACS Atmo Easy Behavior. So let's copy that. Atmo escort behavior. Uh, to have a swarm of bees style drones would not be great. Uh, performance wise, servers can handle lucas's code really well like his code is quite efficient for the drones um i've spawned heaps of these drones and things have still run just fine but you don't want to push that with a server when every player can have that happen so for this behavior i need to replace Atmo easy with Atmo escort. Then we don't need, so autopilot, da, da, yeah, that triggers path deviation. No. Oh, uh, oh, rats. Eh, I'll leave that in. So the path deviation trigger is the trigger that causes the cargo ships to fly to a nearby base, appear to almost land at it, and then fly away and continue on their path. Uh, so we got... So that can stay in. Ship damage... What is ship damage doing? Return to despawn, return to speed, trigger grinder. A lot of these ones shouldn't be possible. So I might just get rid of a lot of these. So we'll leave path deviation in. We'll get rid of ship damage. We'll get rid of return to despawn. Oh, actually, what's return to despawn? 
What's that doing? What? Oh, that's in a different behavior file. Yeah. Uh, we'll get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Should just need, like the only trigger that should be needed here is trigger prox far. Because, and maybe path deviation. But the rest shouldn't be required. Oh, maybe some of those ones will. Uh, basically what I'm thinking is the drone escort should only need to be triggered to attack the player. So that should happen well before the player actually gets to attack the ship that they're protecting. So if the proximity trigger is met, nothing else is going to matter because that drone is going to fight till it dies. The extra stuff that the cargo ships have, like getting attacked and all that sort of stuff and things like that um those will be waiting until like those aren't needed because the drone's so small it shouldn't ever get them so trigger prox far target distance let's say if you get within two kilometers then it's going to trigger this shouldn't need two actions. Action chat broadcast. In fact, this shouldn't need any of this stuff either. It should be quite simple. It should just be an action procs. That's it. So we go from trigger prox, which will happen at two kilometers, to action prox, which will uh, yeah, we'll use a chat broadcast. ACS Atmo Chat Escort Prox, which I'll have to create at some point. Reset cooldown and during timers, yes. No, we don't need to do that because we're not going to have a reply to this one. And there's no reply. Get rid of... Then we... Rival AI action... Get rid of that... So now I need to find out the th find the thing where I've done it before and trigger this action to change the behavior type for the drone. I'd love to see a guppy with a hanger full of baby guppies. That would be kind of cool. So the behavior change was done on Atmo on the wings. So we need this. Switch behavior true. Yeah. New behavior is at mo drones. Where is it? AI at my drone behavior small. So as soon as that proximity trigger is met, this should then switch to this behavior type, which is a fighter behavior type. And I put that in the wrong thing. That should be there. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that should all be fine. And that should be all that's needed. Don't need prox near, we don't need action prox near, we don't need prox near B. We'll see. Don't need a damage trigger. Uh, don't think I left the all clear trigger in though. Trigger all clear. So what was the all clear call for? Oh no, I can get rid of all clear. All clear was so that the ship would slow down again. Don't need a grinder trigger. Do want a death trigger though. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I think this might be what I needed. Let's just check it through again. So what I want is a drone that spawns with the ship. We've done that. The drone that spawns with the ship should have a standard cargo ship style behavior until the player gets too close. Once the player gets too close, it should switch to a fighter behavior. That fighter behavior will then allow it to peel off from its cargo ship that it's supporting and attack the player. And once that happens, um, it doesn't really matter what happens to the drone because the drone's going to fight till it dies, which is fine. And when it dies, it's going to explode with an explosion range of 4 and a damage of 12. And now I can get rid of these spawners because there's not going to be a spawner part of this. So that should be all that's needed. I think. Uh, now, ACS Atmo chat. Let's create that extra chat profile that I wanted. Chat data, ACS Atmo chat escort procs. So let's go far proximity chats. Uh, damage chats, let's create a new category. These will be escort. And I can grab that. This. So I don't mess up the names. So what should I say for this chat when the uh, drone actually triggers to attack someone who's approaching? And thanks, Scissor... Scissor Leet. Um, don't the cargo ships sometimes consider the player being near a false alarm, though? That's why... I mentioned a drone spawn script. Uh, no, the, so, okay. So the way this triggers work with the mod currently is there's an initial radio call out that happens when the player is getting close, but still a fair way from the ship that is there. And that'll, that's kind of a radio trigger to make you realize that you're getting close and you probably want to back off. That doesn't spawn a drone all the time. Uh, once you get closer, though, then you increase the chance of a spawn. Uh, I'm just going to do that, something simple like hostiles near engaging. Or I think I can, yeah, here we go. So I can put in some of the other ones that you guys are suggesting as alter alternates. I'll start spotted, moving to intercept. Oops, that's not what I want to do.
There we are. Alright, that should work now. Let's check. This is, this is a little bit exciting because if we can get this working, then I've got medium difficulty done. And then it's only going to be um, like a little bit, a little bit more work to get the hard mode one, which is uh, bringing in some large grid drones as escort. Because I don't want the large grid drones to be spawnable as in, in a regular sense. I want them to be something that's um, a special thing. Okay, we have a bison and a mayfly. Let's see what the mayfly does. I really wish the text wouldn't go dark when there's multiples on something. It makes it very difficult to read. Okay, so the mayfly just called out early, which I need to fix. Okay, we just got some extra stuff coming in. Let's see what that mayfly is doing. It would appear to me the mayfly has not gotten the behavior update. And I think I know why. Because I didn't set it up. <laughs> I forgot. Ugh. So I didn't do this and put it in my spawn group behavior. There we go. Now we can try that again. Hostile doth approacheth. Forth go I to a cost yon hooligan. Uh. I may I'm I'm always I'm always trying to find that right line of which jokes to include in the mod and which jokes might get and might get old quick in the mod okay let's try this again closing in on the mayfly and bison Why did the bison call that out twice? What is the mayfly doing? A whole lot of nothing. Right. Just chilling. Just chilling. Okay, what have I messed up? So it seemed like the behavior for the bison didn't load properly either. Save changes for quick, no. Just check my escort behavior, see if I've got anything odd here.
that's fine. Trigger path deviation is fine. Trigger prox looks like it's fine. Uh, let's just get rid of those. And that should that yeah, behavior name cargo ship should be fine because that's what I want initially. All right, let's try this again. Can you set any of Eisen's ships to just yell ACS, ACS, ACS at every opportunity? Uh, deploy the tactical sandwiches. Protect the sandwiches. Don't let them get our sandwiches. Fuel critical. Try this again. And if this doesn't work, I am thoroughly lost as to what is happening and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Which is sad. So I think I've done everything right. Bison is working, as expected. Oh, hostile spotted moon to intercept. All right, we got the trigger. That worked that time. My fly drone is still not doing anything though. It's not doing the behavior switch. So the trigger is working. The action is triggering the chat, but it's not switching behaviors. Why? Hmm. Uh, my player my player character shouldn't matter whether I'm targetable or not, because uh, Lucas's drones ignore that setting. Do, 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 do. Why you no switch my behavior? Uh, so the reason Lucas's drones ignore that that setting is that's really just for turrets. And because his drones can fire with fixed weapons, uh, it's not really a needed thing. Now why would switch to behavior true, new behavior that preserve target data on behavior switch? Why, 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 why? Maybe, maybe I get rid of that because it doesn't have any target behavior. Because AR drone behavior small is a fighter behavior, so it should just trigger that. Oh. Oh, hold up. Maybe I'm just not close. No. It should still work. Should still buy. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. Hmm. 
I'm wondering whether so normally if the drones normally when I spawn in the drones through getting too close to the cargo ships those drones will target you even if they're like 5 k's away so that target data shouldn't be having an effect here they should still be finding an enemy moving towards it and then targeting it but that didn't work Two kilometers. And nothing. Bubkiss. Still not doing anything. Um, let me check. I've got um Yeah, let's let's add some debugging in and see what's going on. All right, let's let's see if the distance thing is a problem and whether it will start targeting me if I get closer. I don't think it is. I close on the Mayfly. Yeah. This is how much the Mayfly is doing. I suspect it's not even going to shoot me. It's trying to get around me, but it's not trying to shoot me. Oh, no. What's it trying to do? Yeah, it's just trying to get around me. That's all. Now let's see if I can understand the log. Uh, no, karma's evil twin factions don't matter. In this context anyway. Because all of my stuff is a single faction because um, there's no way I can make custom factions that have set relations to each other, which is annoying. I mean, I can change untargetable, but it doesn't actually matter. Because what I'll do is I'll show you guys. Um, so let's spawn in Bison again. Let's go and see what happens. Thanks, Shadow CVL. Hopefully, I uh, can keep this up all the way through August. <laughs> Sure, I will. So I'm just going to see if that other drone is working. Because clearly the Mayfly is not. And if I start getting shot at soon. Oh yeah, and this behavior, this is supposed to happen. Yep. So 
the other drones are working, it's just the Mayfly that's not. Well, it's that Mayfly. This Mayfly is working. This Mosquito is working. This Wasp is working. This Mayfly is still not working. Her. Annoying. Missing for the behavior switch. Uh, let's just check the log and see if there's anything in there. Uh, where is it? Space engineers log. Uh, let's see, escort. Huh. Hold up. Have I done something silly? Uh, ammo escort behavior. No, we got the trigger. That's got the triggers it is being generated why is that not being logged um because see all these other triggers are named correctly well why is my escort trigger not even being generated Yes, yes, I'm a scope behavior, which is getting loaded. Am I misinterpreting the log? I don't think I am. The ones that were working were spawned normally, as in, in the existing spawn fashion that works. All right, I might, just to make my life easier, quit Space Engineers and just create, add the logging in and then um, just create a new log file so I know where the heck I'm up to. Are you being like this? Yes, it is, TFE. Because this is the behavior profile. And it is in the trigger list. Trigger prox. Trigger prox leads to action prox. Action prox leads to switch to new behavior. AI at mode drone behavior small. Which is this. Which is a fighter profile. but it doesn't appear to be switching. I don't know why it's not switching. Why you no switch? I do not understand. <sighs> Michael, I am envious of your food. I have nothing so exciting here at the office. That's another thing I'm looking forward to about having a home office again. Critical. Being able to make proper lunches again. It's the, the 
Even the microwave here at the office doesn't work. Uh, and Uber Eats doesn't work where I live either. There aren't enough Uber drivers. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Medium. That's my spawn group. Slash M E S dot spawn planetary cargo ship dot bison. There we go. Okay. Let's do the thing and see what happens, and then we'll look through the log and see if we can understand it. So the issue at present is that I have a drone that spawns with this ship, but it will not switch behavior types to come and attack me. It just sits there and does nothing. But it does chat broadcast, so the behavior is working. It does do the chat that is specific to it. So something is working, it's just not doing the behavior switch. And I can't work out why. Okie dokie. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Yes, 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 yes. All of that stuff. And voxels. Uh, mod error. Resource not found. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's all loading in the stuff. Loading all my prefabs in. Loading in the spawn groups. When did stuff start happening? None of that stuff is further down here. Chat profile not in dictionary. Could not find chat profile associated with JAG. ACS space chat. That's okay because that's all space and lunar stuff. That's not a problem. Uh, detector profiles. Atmo escort. Yep, it's there. The fighter behavior works on that drone so there's it's something in the trigger that's not triggering it uh true or it should be that mission actions yeah that's all fine that's so hang on actually let's see action atmo escort action death action prox so the proximity action is there Do, 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 do. Almost there. Could not find trigger profile associated to tag. Trigger ship damage, trigger return to speed. Oh, 
probably get rid of that secondary autopilot because I think there might be some errors in it. Bison. So trigger. Atmo Escort trigger prox not met. When does that get met? Just doing all the checks, all the checks, all the checks. And attempting to execute action prox a prox for a. So that happened. Uh so where's escort in here? Still not met. So I reply. And we've got. Okay. No cooldown needed. Play a near. Trigger. Prox attempting to execute action profile based on action prox. Performing eligible actions, attempting chat broadcast, and then nothing. It's not attempting the behavior trigger switch. Um yeah, so it's it's not even, it doesn't even seem to be attempting to do the behavior switch. So I must be missing something in the action profile that's needed for a behavior switch. Based on what I can interpret of this, I think. And then it's... Max successful actions reached because I only want it to happen once and it'll keep saying that and then there's no more escort. Hmm. Uh. The behavior definitely changed... with the other behavior thing that I've got. Yeah, let's just see. That's the only three behaviors I've got. Right. So that's not what it is. This is hard. This is real hard. Atmo Action Grinder would new behavior so let's just see what i've got this uh really really wish ah this atmo on the wings thing was over here so i could switch between them more easily so switch to behavior true Switch to behavior true. New behavior, AI Atmo drone behavior small. New behavior, ACS Atmo on the wings, which all works okay. Um,
And this is the this is all that's part of the thing. Uh, why are you no work? Grr. No, the behavior profile that it's switching to is correct. AI at mo drone behavior small. AI at mo drone behavior small. Behavior fighter. Autopilot data, that's there. It's all exactly the same. Okay, copy pasted it in there. See? Wait, what? What? How, how, that is different. Why is that different? Oh, I used, oh, I'm an idiot. Ah. Uh, I named it a different subtype to the file name and I'd just grabbed the file name before. There it is. Okay. Let's try this out. No one needs to clip that for Kapak. He's sitting right beside me. He heard it. And he just chuckled. Uh, yes, Pock, it is handy having a swarm of backseat coders. That's why I do these on stream, because it like this would have taken me so long to figure it out. But with you guys prompting me to go, are you sure? Are you sure? You might have... And then I'll check it and find out that, yes, I actually did stuff it up, and it should have been something that I checked properly, rather than just assuming it's correct. Um, Capac, just a heads up. I am having streaming issues on Twitch this morning. It's just that I'm doing coding stuff so it's not been too much of a problem. Uh, okay. Let's spawn it in. Hey, Dex, how's it going? Uh, and let's just check. And apologies for the low frame rate here. I cannot fix Twitch to work better. I have tried. Still not working though. In fact, I didn't get any of the things then. I don't think it's liking doing a f just a quick reload. I think I'm having to go back out to the menu. Uh, the buffering is not you. The buffering is Twitch being terrible. Um, it's why I've been streaming on YouTube recently. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this stream shortly if I can get this behavior working. And then Capac's going to try and stream, because if we both try and stream, it's just going to be a nightmare. Like, even more of a nightmare. Yep. Fuel critical. You could. Correct, Pock. Correct. Come on, Twitch. Just hold out well enough with the stream for just another few minutes so I can test this behavior. Hey. 
Yes, it does seem to be an Australian problem and not even an everyone problem. It seems that Twitch has just decided not to work with certain ISPs and I don't have any control over that at the office. Ugh. This is horrible. Come on, please just work. And the drone is doing nothing. Ugh. What are you planning on streaming today, Capac? You thinking Noiter on Twitch or Noiter on YouTube? Right. Well, I might send my issues to um, Lucas to see what he can, whether he can figure this out, why it's not working, what I've messed up. And hopefully next time I try and stream Twitch won't be frustrating because this is really quite irritating that this has been going on for several weeks now. Um, Capac's going to go and stream over on his YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash CapacMRU, which I will type in chat as well. And we are fairly confident it's not our problem, because we can stream to YouTube just fine. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to figure this out for next time, and we can either stream on YouTube or stream on Twitch, and start moving on with adding some extra behaviors to the more high difficulty spawns to make them even more of a challenge to fight and potentially taking out some of the challenge from the early ones so that you can actually have a chance at capturing them so yeah head over to capac's youtube channel for him to keep streaming i'm going to stop my stream